I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we can play in tag. Honeys, what's pop lock and drop in? It's your girl Malaysia checking in with you. It is that time of the year. Christmas trees, Christmas lights, eggnog with some henny. Girl, it's that season. Tis the season to get pregnant. Okay. I'm just joking, y'all. Pop them plan B's. But I decided to set up my Christmas tree a little bit early this year. And who better than to set it up with than the person that I have been really close to all this year. Thankfully, he agreed to set up my Christmas tree with me. And I honestly wouldn't have wanted to set up my Christmas tree with anybody else I feel like you just shouldn't be out there setting up a Christmas tree with just anybody you feel me so I did the red the green the gold I'm gonna get more ornaments because my tree is still a little bit empty but if you're setting your Christmas tree up with your guy let him put on the tree topper because that is the male role right to put the tree topper on so yeah I let him put the tree topper on and we did a really good job we were up to like three or four o'clock in the morning putting up my tree so I hope y'all enjoy us, enjoy watching us set it up. <laughs> and let's listen to some of this music. Drive along in December rain To play my favorite song I see a snowflake melt on the deck I'm awful cold And longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer light But together we're alright You know Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah look Where we were small Someone's been here and there is for all Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer like But together we're born
Hey y'all, what's poppin'? It's your girl Malaysia checking in with you. So I just got back from the store and I hope y'all like my Christmas tree. I did it with my, one of my favorite people in the whole world. <laughs> and it came out really good. I like it. I honestly want to get some more ornaments though. These ornaments are from last year and this is one of my first Christmas trees. Well, I had a green Christmas tree, I'm lying. That was my first tree. And I switched it out for this tree. And I want to add some more to it because it's a little bit spacey, you know what I mean? So I'm possibly going to go ahead and order me some more ornaments off of Amazon here soon. Yeah. How y'all doing? Happy holidays. And then I also got my dog's Christmas stockings over there. I ordered me a stocking also and somebody else a stocking. And then I also ordered my first Chris, my ugly Christmas sweaters. They're like, they're so cute. I'm actually not even gonna tell y'all what they are. I'm just gonna show y'all. But let me show y'all what I got from the store because I just got that in. So I'm gonna do the chamoy pickle challenge with an old friend. I can get my, I just want my purse. I can't wait to get a new one. I love this purse though. Really cute. But um, yeah, so I can't, Wait, we ought to see who I'm gonna do the chamoy pickle challenge with. It's an old friend of mine that used to be on my channel, Ken. Me and Ken finally made up, y'all. Comeback is way bigger. I mean, our comeback is better than our setback. That's what I was gonna say. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, our comeback is better than our setback. We haven't honestly been friends for like over a year, two years, three years. And we've been seeing each other out a lot and I reached out to him and we're gonna sit down and have a little heart to heart. But I also wanna do the chamoy pickle challenge for him. Before I get started though, I did stop at the liquor store and grab us a bottle because child needs to loosen up a little bit, you know, at the end of the And I got some Grand Marier. I'm really into this right now. It's sweet and it does the job for me. And I got some lemonade. I heard lemonade goes really good with it. So we're gonna try that. And then I got the Takis for the challenge. And I also ordered all of the stuff off of Amazon for the challenge. So that's open now. <clears throat> See what it looks like. I got extra pickles. I got one more pickle kit. Go. The hell? Camila's pregnant, y'all. She looks so cute. And she's been so hungry lately. But I only got one kit because I figure we could just share mine. Just think, I don't even know. But then I bought a whole bunch of extra pickles. And then I also bought a <laughs> diamond tester, honey. Don't play with me. Baby, stay with me. Baby, just stay with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. So I wanted to get a diamond tester because I'm gonna start testing y'all's diamonds, okay? I figured that would be some really, really cute content because you know, people be lying about their diamonds and I'm trying to, I'm trying to know. I'm trying to know. I got the diamond tester. It comes like this. It comes with some instructions and it comes in a thingy. Oh, look, there we go. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. And let's take this out. Wait, what is in there? Something's in there. What is it? Oh, I gotta put this thing together? Don't they know that they should already? Oh, no, that's just, what is that? Something. Okay, so apparently, I gotta put this thing together. Why would they do this to me? So it's battery pack? Do they not know it's 2020 by 2024? Who uses batteries? Like, come on now, they need to have the plug-in thing where you just plug it into the wall. Come on. Okay, and this is, what is this? They're already doing too much. Girl, this is a microscopic thing. Does this go on the thing? This is a 60 times currency detecting with LED microscope. Whatever that means. They're doing too much. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take me a quick little shot because they are stressing me 
out. Okay, a girl is stressed out. I don't want time for this. I'm actually not even gonna put it on no ice. So I'm just gonna go straight up and do a little shot. Cheers. Well, actually we say salut. Salut to all my baddies out there. We're gonna make this money this year. We're gonna stay solid. We're gonna keep advancing in life. We're gonna marry good. We're gonna have healthy friends and healthy associates and relationships. And our business, or if you're helping somebody run a business or helping some, because everybody doesn't have to own their own business, okay? Sometimes you could help people get to where they want to be in life, help people achieve their goals. And two, healthy skin, a good pH balance, and yeah, salute. I could do this. So, um, open. It says open there, so we're gonna go ahead and um, I don't know. Does this come apart? No. Is this supposed to like? All right, let me read that fucking instruction. Ooh. Um, so. Oh, so this comes out good. How to test diamond to insert NV battery included. If battery is rechargeable, we need to charge battery first. So you'll put it in like this. Bound chicka wow wow. Next. You'll insert the battery back into the vagina, and then you will cover it. Bow. Correct. Now turn it on. OMG, it is on. Now what? Turn on the switch. If the light, blah, 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 wait, blah, 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 wait, refer to the table on the back. Shut up. What is wrong with you? Refer to the table on the back of the device to determine the initial value based on ambient temperature and measure diamond size. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. My friend that I'm doing the challenge with called me. So let me actually call my friend back. Hey, babe. What you doing? I am just filming right now, me unboxing all this stuff. Can you send me your address? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah, send it to me. Once I'm done, I'll head over there. I'll be done here in like 20 minutes. Okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, right, bye. Bye. Okay, so. Okay, so turn on the switch if the light, wait. If the light fails to eliminate, it indicates low battery power. Wait, oh, sorry. <laughs> My nose was like, huh? <coughs> wait a few seconds for the probe to heat up until lamp on ready, okay. Okay, if lights, have sound, it's true diamond. If lights and no sound, it's not diamond. If lights is seven or eight, it's true ruby, sapphire, or emerald. If light is six or seven, it's true jade. If light is four or five, it's true glass. Don't test metal, don't wear gloves. Regular users set four lights to illuminate on the scale. Okay. Refer to the table on the back of the device to determine the initial value based on ambient temperature. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let's see. 
Mine's supposed to be real. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be real. Um, that's just like, you know, I didn't test it right. How you know how you're supposed to set it? How the fuck this thing supposed to work? I got some fake diamonds I can test. Why is this mic? Oh, it said not to do it on metal. Let's see if I can do it on. Bitch, you ain't even touching the thing. So now you're faking. That's not real. What's this though for real? Cause I know my shit's real, so. Oh, I had the cover on. So it's a cover on this thingy. See, look. So this comes obviously like that. Wait, it's supposed to only be on four lights, not three, four lights. Four green lights. That's how you start it, and it has a little tip on it. And this was over, that's why I didn't take the tip off. So make sure you take the tip off. And yeah, so now we could properly test my diamonds. I was finished to say. Okay, so. Oh, let's do it, let's do it. Cause I know mine are real. Wait, it's gotta be on four. Okay, it's on four. Yeah, baby, my shit real, I know that bitch. Okay. Don't play with me. Uh -huh. Don't play with me. Ooh, my shit's a doo 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 See? Mine are real. I spent a lot of money on this motherfucking ring. Don't play with me. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun testing y'all diamonds. Cause y'all be lying. Ooh, my shit real. My shit like, my shit going crazy. That's dope. But and so we're gonna test this to she so y'all can see that this thing is not just faking. Let's see, I oh, know that's right. Hello, where your diamonds at? Where your diamonds at, bitch? Where your diamonds at? Hmm. Don't play with me. My shit going through, my shit through the roof. <laughs> okay, hold up. I gotta hold up. We gotta get on the Instagram. The Instagram. 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 I need both my hands. So hold up. I need both of my hands. I need both of my hands. Hold on, little DJ Easy. I love this thing. I love DJI products.
I'm about to start getting on y'all's ass. Oop. I'm about to start getting on y'all's ass. New content coming soon. Huh, baby, y'all's diamonds. Let's see if y'all diamonds is really hitting. Oh, shit. Hold up. Wait. What's going on here? I know my shit real. How you do it? Okay, I gotta make sure it's on there, right? I know my shit's real, baby. Ooh, I'm gonna be on y'all's asses. I'm talking about Playhouse, Garden, SNS, uh, 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 Citizens, Bloom. I'm pulling up. I'm testing y'all's diamonds. I gotta learn how to do it though. Okay, so I gotta be right on the, on right on it. Okay, it's gotta be right on there. <laughs> and see, y'all know I'm not. And that way y'all know I'm not like playing like it's not fake or whatever. So like I'll use this for instance. I wanna use this. Oh. Let's see if this glass. Or let me see. Ooh, my shit said trrrr. <laughs> oh, it's not fake or whatever. Love so it. I'm on oh, y'all's asses. Putting my cap back on. Oh, this. Oh. Back in my holder. Oh, I'm testing people's diamonds today. I'm finna start testing y'all diamonds. 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 <laughs> oh, geez, this is gonna be so much fun. All right, so next. Get you more pickles. I'm gonna take me another little shot because that was exhausting just now. I got three of them from Amazon. And then I got the Chamoy kit from Amazon. Um, let's see if I can split this. Okay. Let me open it up and it's everybody's been telling me you have such pretty lips. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. 
That's the tribe. Come in back. Oh, Jesus. This is hard to open. Okay. So, I got the kit. Alright. Um, oh, it only comes with a little bit of the worms. Boring. So, I should have got a bigger one because I'm going to do it with somebody, but I got the worms with it. The like the chamoy sauce or whatever the Lucas sauce, the little stuff, the tahini, got a couple um, lollipops. Thank you for your purchase. Please enjoy this free candy as a token of our gratitude. My mouth is watering, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pica bello, melon. Mm. El pica, el pica, el pica, 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 pica. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. I think I'm ready to go. Acid and salted vapor powder. What the hell? Mm. I don't want to take a bite already. I got three of them. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And go to the pans so we can do this challenge. Cans. Some of y'all remember Ken, I'm pretty sure. My day ones definitely remember Ken. Yeah. Bring your sexy ass over here, <laughs> Ken. A round of applause. Oh, the crowd goes wild. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, my boo. Mm. Hey, you guys. Wait, thumbnail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes. Switch. Yeah, salut. Salute. To 2024. Right. Getting just this just motherfucking money. But see, I can't even do another <laughs> cheers because I just did one before I came over here with them. <laughs> So, I'm drinking on some Grand Marnier, and Ken is sipping on some, what is this? Savant Blanc? What is that? How do you say that? Bitch, I don't know. Savion. Savion. Wait, are you blind? Oh, I forgot you were blind. What am I going to say? Hey, 21 to my bitch, look. That is funny. See, I forgot you were blind, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. It's crazy <laughs> shit. Then I got astigmatism now, so it's just like, uh. You have astigmatism now. What do you mean? Like one eye go this way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what? I mean, I just want 
know. <laughs> no, see, this is just like, it's just like, you have like softer lenses and stuff. Like, oh. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. It's like, I feel like I'm going to put it on the floor. We're just recording. I swear, I thought that's what it meant. Okay. All right, y'all. So, we're going to do the chamoy pickle challenge. But wait, before we get started, we do need bowls. Bowls. Because there's juice in it. We need bowls. Oh, yeah. Y'all saw I got four pickles. Honestly, just wanted some to do for my um, to eat for myself when I get home. I mean, wait, we actually even need the scissors for the pickle. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this open with it. And, oh wait, it does have a slip. So it's the Alamo Candy Co. Do you wanna put on high robes, bitch, so we don't get on our clothes? No, no. Not at all. It, nobody had on robes. It's not that serious. <laughs> okay. Look at him. Like, you wanna put on the robes? <laughs> no, okay, so first, I know they take this off. And but yeah, use your scissors. Fuck, I should just my scissors too. And I know most people dump the juice okay. into the bowl. Oh, wait, okay, there we go. Okay. Dump it in the bowl. I got that juice. Hmm? New AB. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got that juice. A new, new AB. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then. Next, what you do, I think I see they have to bite off the top. Just bite Because we're finna, <laughs> we're finna bite okay, the top ready? off because we gotta start stuffing it. Okay. You gotta Wait, how much are we biting off? Um, enough. Did you watch any of the challenges? Yeah. A little bit? A little so, bit. So, like, they bit. Oh, like, and I got the, um, the, the spoon? damn spoons so that they needed. Scoop, scoop it, yeah, everything out? Oh, bet. It's actually yeah. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Right. Okay. Perfect. We got the spoons cause we, so we can scoop out the inside. All right, baby. Cheers. Let's go. Let me see what it tastes like. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? It's a pickle. <laughs> Did we get the wrong ones? What does yours taste like? A pickle? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You took off a big bite. She took a bigger one. Okay. I will. Mm hmm. Now, scoopy scoopy. Uh -huh. You have another one, or you want me to just? Oh wait, oh it comes out real easy. Wow, look at that! They were like prepared for that. Right. Oh shit. Okay. <gasps> wait, I'm fucking up my pickle. No, <laughs> okay. Oh, that's real easy. You just take it out. That wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be like really <clears throat> chamoy. Really? Okay. So there's mine. Yeah. Let me put mine, oh, I'll just put it in the bowl, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to get messy. Mm -hmm. okay. Get it on me, get it on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we got the worms right here. Let me give him some worms too. Damn, I should've oh, yeah, got right a whole smooth. bunch of worms. Very smooth. Yeah, right, it came right out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got my worms, your worms. And then we got this shit right here. Hold up. Is that like the Mexican candy? Yeah, like you pour it on there. Help me out. But, oh wait. Oh, oh no, but okay. got that off. And then this right here is like the sprinkle stuff. Who came up with this, first of all? I really want to know. Like, were you pregnant? Okay, was it, was it hormones or was it weed? Which one was it? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and then let's get the tahini open too. Look, he's just being lazy, y'all. He ain't having me with shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay. put our so, takis up in here. Takis first. Takis. Take <laughs> right. <laughs> and then some of these thingies. Okay. I'm excited, y'all. I've never really done a food challenge, so this better be. It's like a mukbang. You know how you used to do the mukbangs a long time ago? Yeah, the mukbangs. We did do the mukbangs. Oh, y'all go look at me and Ken's old videos. I think I made one of them. Well, one of them's already been public. And then I'm gonna put this one more. Oh, mad my worms aren't like. 
popping out, but it's okay. Alright. And then some of this. Right. So I'll go ahead and do one more real quick. They like just go messy with it. So yeah. I guess just go messy with it. Get crazy with it. Right, get crazy with it. Oh shit. <laughs> but okay. Right. <laughs> like breathing. <laughs> like this. Like I can pull it in my throat. Here. Well, dirty like the dirty martini. Mm, okay. <laughs> a little bit of that. Let's Should I put some more? I'm gonna put some more. Yeah. Feel that shit up in there. Mmm. Feel up in there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a cancer. <laughs> like a ah, look at this. Uh, oh wait, you gotta get us a boomerang real quick of our no, pickles. Really right. yeah. grab your phone. Right. Oh my gosh. Yes, get us a boomerang right there. Yeah, me too. Let me get one. Boomerang, y'all. This actually looks like it might taste really good. No, seriously. Ready? Oh, the rest of the day. One, two. <laughs> oh, wait, no, let's, wait, let's, yeah, let's, um, let's toast it. Okay. There we go, that'll be better. Okay, wait, let me save it. I'm gonna send you mine because mine looks way cuter. Okay, wait. <clears throat> let me just save it. I'm gonna post it here in a little bit. Okay, but so. Ready? Let's go, bitch. Right. Wait, you don't have enough chips in yours. Put more chips. More chips? Okay. There you go. Stuff it up in there. Okay, ready? <laughs> ready? Let's go. Oh. Different. Really? It's just the red color no, that makes it look so it's different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm fucking with it. Mm -hmm. But definitely a different type of taste. That part. Should have got more of that sauce. Mm -hmm. I see because they like this. It's a sweet sour. Sweet and sour film. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. Me and my little sister have been doing this since we were little. Stuffing hot Cheetos and pickles. So I'm gonna give it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give it a 10 because me and my little sister have been doing this yeah. stuff. But for the challenge, I'm honestly gonna give it a five because, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should have got the fruit roll ups. Oh, yeah, I thought it was. I should have the fruit roll ups around it for the sweet part. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would have tamed it down, but like that we got more of the spice part. But yeah, it tastes like a regular pickle. It's just red. Why mm -hmm. is it red? Is it supposed to taste different? That's what I'm saying. Like, what was the purpose of? Or maybe it's supposed to make it. Wait, taste are we supposed like to put a, some of the juice in here? Let me put some of the juice from the pickle yeah, sure. in here. Right, because it just. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, it's such a mess. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. I like pickles. I like big old pickles in my mouth. Big old pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop, I get in trouble. It's definitely different. I like it. It's like it's like a snack, but like a different it, like you gotta be really feeling it. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Let me not say that. That sounds bad, but marijuana or pregnancy vibes. This gives me pregnancy vibes for sure. Hmm. You know what I do like though? Hmm. This kind of tangs it down a little bit. It's sweeter. sweeter. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I was missing. But I feel like the fruit roller would have really set it good. off. We gotta do a different food challenge though, and do it yeah. correct. <laughs> No, because no, I've seen some people do it with the fruit roll-up fruit roll up, and some people not. So I honestly just ordered the kit and wanted to do it whatever with the candy that came in the kit. Mm. Okay, yeah. So the powder, mm -hmm. the powder does even it up. Yeah, it definitely has a tang to it. I'm Most done. of the Takis, yeah. I'm done. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try it one more time. See if we're missing something. Right. This is the Alamo Chamoy pickle, y'all. Big so test. Like Alright, let me see. What do you think? This is it's like a regular pickle. Nope. Y'all get a big eggs for me for hyping this shit up. <laughs> you know TikTok always hyping it though. Hyping it the fuck up. Oh my god, I was so excited to eat it because it looked red. I thought it was gonna be like gooey. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I know I thought I thought it was <laughs> like just a sweet, savory taste to it. Me too, that's what I thought, but no, y'all it's just... for the spicy though. Like if you're a spicy, spicy fan, then mm -hmm. it's definitely for the spicy girls. Definitely for the spicy girls. It's definitely a Mexican candy pickle, the spicy mm -hmm. for sure. But hold on, baby. I'm gonna get my shit together. Hey babies, let's go outside. No! Y'all, Camila's pregnant. Look, hold on. Stop on, let me show them. Look, she is pregnant. You see her titties? She's a baby. She got babies in there. I'm gonna take them outside. Oh, oh, to TD. So I'm cute for the Sunday, nothing, nothing crazy. Okay, let's get you in here, girl. Oh. Jackets from for them from Amazon. Super cute. Your baby's gotta match you. So we're gonna put hers on. Pregnant mommy, we gotta protect that belly. Obviously, Big Mama. Come here, Big Mama. Amara, come here. Come here, Amara, come here. Amara, come here. There you go. So I just got home from doing a little, well, not from doing a little bit of shopping. Ugh. Sorry, I dropped my papers for my joints. But no, I just got home from going to get candy for my chamoy pickle. So girl, I'm actually gonna do the chamoy pickle challenge again with y'all by myself. And I say that because I personally feel like since we didn't do it the right way, we didn't have enough of the candy and stuff, I figured I'll go get me some candy and do it again. Mm. Cheers. I love these little canteens, they're so cute. I got mine from a liquor store. I keep my Grand Marier in here because it's so sweet and I don't need a chaser for it. And girl, you know, just mm -hmm. throw it back, throw it back. And I also got a lot of stuff in the mail because I'm gonna start taking my painting seriously this year. I love painting, I love being creative. And this year I'm focusing on my painting, my YouTube channel, my books, my music, you know, singing. I'm always gonna be singing here and there because I just love to sing and I feel like I have such a beautiful voice and that's just always gonna be something that's gonna always be a part of my life. And obviously my skincare line, Punani Box, and my credit repair. So six things that I'll only be focusing on this year that I love to do and that make me money. You should never put all of your eggs in one basket. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you need to just do one thing. But you know, of course, if you just like to do one thing, do that. But me personally, I was doing skincare, I was doing lip gloss, I was doing hair, I was doing manifestation kits, candles, fitness, um, fitness kits, blenders, I was doing dog stuff, I was I had my books, my YouTube channel, my music, I started doing like, what else did I have? My paintings, I had 13 things 
that I was doing, literally, like 13, 14 ways of income. And yeah, at the time it was really dope. Like I was making a lot of money and I was so proud of myself for two years, two to three years, for three years, I was just running my businesses. And then in 2022, I started going outside, you know, partying, making friends. And for me, that was something I never did. And then 2023, you know, I fell in love and I've been dating, I was, you know, dating someone and so now it's the end of 2023 and I've realized you know I've let two years go by and I did whatever I wanted to do and I'm not upset about it at all you know I shut down my businesses literally 2022 I haven't done anything as far as my businesses go because I never used to party I never used to have fun I never have friends if you're one of my day ones you know this and when I feel like I'm too bright are we okay And personally, I just feel like that's not a way to live your life. And I wanted friends, so I didn't mind taking a whole year off of work. Like, a young girl know how to get some money, okay? And I don't have kids. I take really good care of just having my dogs, which are kind of like kids. But still, at the end of the day, I know how to manage my coin. So I just took the time to do whatever I wanted. But obviously, it's back to work, back to the drawing board. And not even just back to the drawing board, you know? And now I know exactly what I want to do. I was doing too many things. And the six things that I like and love, you know, credit credit makes the world go round. Painting, whatever, I don't even gotta go into detail and explain myself. But yeah, so I got a lot of stuff in the mail that I ordered from Amazon for my painting. But first, let me wash my hands because my hands feel really nasty. super nasty i just got done shopping and i ate some food oh i stopped at this i like to go to um like little back door food places like gas stations that have like you know the like the tacos and they make enchiladas or whatever they have a little kitchen in there so i stopped at this um place because i was looking for candy and i got me some enchiladas and some tacos chow the street food so good like thank you Abuela for this beautiful plate of tacos and enchiladas. It is so good with this, um, the sour cream sauce and the verde sauce. So good. But let me show you what I got from the store. First, my camera. I mean, my, yeah, my camera in my living room. It is just going off. I forgot about it. Let me disarm it. Disarm. Cool. All right. So let me get a knife. So first, I was in the, went to a fiesta to get the Mexican candy for the challenge. So I got some more of the, you know, the worms that go in there the sauce, and I, I got some different kind of sprinkle sauce. It's some mango sauce. So I got that. And then I saw these cookies, and they look so good. So I definitely had to get me some cookies. And I forgot I have to get my dog some food. Being an adult is like literally getting on my nerves at this point in life. <laughs> and of course I got some Takis, but I saw these Taki sticks, and I wanted to try these instead of the regular Takis. So yeah, we'll see how those taste. And then my Amazon packages. What is this? Mica powder. Oh yeah, so this is some stuff for my painting. I got some gold pigment. Cause I'm, gold is my favorite color, and so I'm really excited to start showing y'all what type of crafts I'm going to be doing and selling. Be up. And obviously I got me some water. I got some Aquafina. I just grabbed the first thing I saw. I don't want to hear anybody talking about my water. That's honestly why I don't even like taking y'all to the store with me because y'all be getting on my nerves sometimes. Y'all be like, oh, don't get that water. Get this water. Oh my God, where did you get the fruit roll-ups from? How much did they cost? And then y'all gotta sit there and be like asking me what mindset was I in and how did I decide which fruit roll-up packet I was gonna grab. You know what I mean? Like, y'all be getting getting into detail. And you know, sometimes I just need y'all to relax and just chill, okay? Ugh, the blood. 
and I went to Kroger's. I got some plant-based birthday cookies. I honestly got these for me and my baby girl who's pregnant right now because she has been on 10 as far as like um, cravings and I don't blame her. So, And they were on sale for $2.25. Plant based birthday cookies. Mm hmm. And I like to get my dogs real cookies. I'm gonna give one to my pregnant mama. Here you go, baby. Here you go, Papa. Mama, you want a cookie? Okay, so I got some plant-based cookies. I got me some new candles. I got the pine and cedar candles. This smells so good. Mm, smells so good, girl. I'm gonna put one in here and put one in my bedroom. Tis the season to get pregnant. Ha, la 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 la. Okay. Be for real though. Pop them plan BZs. Okay. Next, I got me some clip bars. I got the macadamia nut ones. Cause girl, I just love me some macadamia nuts. Cute. Don't play with me. And I like how the back, back box just like opens up. And then I also got me these Z bars cause I just love me some chocolate. Just like I love chocolate women. Like it's just so, so chocolatey and just tastes so good. If you know, you know. Next, I got me some, so I love me some jalapeno cookies. I mean, chips, bitch. So girl, I got me some jalapeno chips and I never have tasted this brand before. So I wanted to try this brand out. So I grabbed those. And then I also got me some fruit roll-ups for my chamoy pickle. Because we're gonna do this the right way this time. And I believe this is the right fruit roll-up. Yes, yeah, it's the long one. You know, long, long, long. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Well, what else did we get? Oh, my tape came in also. So I got this tape because I'm taking my painting seriously. And so this is for when like, I do the borders or when I'm doing lines and I the paint has dried somewhere and I need to do the paint somewhere else and therefore I need tape to like, you know, get up in there for me. So yeah, I got some painting tape. I'm so excited. I don't know what took me so long to take painting seriously. Yeah. Next, we got, what is this? Some dildos? Oh, no, so these are, <laughs> so the type of paints, teams that I'm gonna start doing is textured paintings. I've been loving the way these textured paintings look. Um, and so I needed these tools to obviously go in there and help me out. So I bought these from Amazon. If you've ever seen these or if you do crafts or whatever, you'll know what these are. But I'm not gonna get too much in detail of what it is. I'll just show y'all when I start to do it. And then I got me some juice. I got me some grape juice. Um, some, no, I mean some grapefruit juice. I was dating somebody once that loved grapefruit juice and I used to think it was nasty, but it's actually so good and I just got like addicted to it. And then I got me some cran grape, which I kind of regret. I was trying to get cranberry juice, but I got cran grape. And then I got me my Welch's grape juice because I freaking love Welch juice. Like it's just so, I'm gonna drink some right now. So good, like grape juice is just so like, I just want to stick a straw in there and just get going. 
and then my apple juice. Next. Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually clear this out real quick because I got me a whole bunch of arts and crafts stuff. Excuse me, baby. I need the waters. I'm gonna put those up in a minute because I wanna go ahead and unbox this stuff because I'm like kind of excited. I'm just so excited to take, like, to finally get back to it, get back to work, you know what I mean? And just have my career goals set. It's a good feeling. Amelia, you need to watch out, baby. I don't wanna hurt you. She is so spoiled right now. I know Cairo is like, I haven't seen my mom in forever. Because I've been loving all on Camila. They'll be okay. My Christmas sweater came in. Let's open this up. I'm so excited. So I got me a Christmas sweater and this guy that I like. I got us matching Christmas sweater. Because you know, your girl's trying to bond this year. So cute. And it lights up, so there must be a battery pack. Battery pack's right here. And how do I turn it on? Okay, so everything's hooked up in there. I guess I should take it out. Oh, please tell me the batteries. Okay, so it doesn't come with batteries, so I need to go get a battery. Oh no, it does come with batteries. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Bitch. I am the coolest fucking thing in town. Don't fucking play with me right now. And I got them on sale for Black Friday. This is what I bought for Black Friday, y'all. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Don't fucking play with me. Look. That is so cute. So I got me this one and I got an extra large for my guy because I know he's a large possibly, but I got him an extra large. Just because I wanted it to fit extra largely. I didn't want it to be too tight. I didn't want to get a large and it be too tight. And I feel like an extra large, it's winter time, be a little loose. And I'm so excited for his to come in. His comes in tomorrow and I can't wait to show him. He's gonna just like blush, I hope so. Okay. Next, Let's see what else we've got. Camila's prenatal vitamins. I got some prenatal vitamins for Camila since she is on her, she's pregnant right now. Um, yeah. So we'll open those up. I'm really excited to give her these. Like she's just gonna be so spoiled right now. Omara's been pregnant twice, but I was young when that happened. Oh, it's powder. So it comes in a powder form. This is what it looks like, the prenatal vitamins. I'm taking her pregnancy very seriously. I definitely wanna get into the breeding. I know of course some people aren't into breeding because people feel like you should rescue dogs. Not everybody wants to rescue a mutt. Not, you know, not everybody wants to rescue a dog that you know, has disabilities. And some people want a specific type of dog and that is okay. You know, there's not a lot of miniature schnauzers in a shelter. So, and that's fine and if you're not into breeding, I'm sorry, babe, but I'm gonna get into it and it's gonna be done right. And I'm gonna, and I, I feel like I should because I love dogs so much. I might as well make a way. I guess that'll be the seventh thing I'm doing. I might as well make a way to make money off of something that I love so much. And it's animals, you know, if I could breed, you know, my schnauzers and become a good breeder, I would love to do that because I love animals. And that would give me more of an excuse to, you know, get a house, get a big backyard, and just get a lot of space. Even though I'm already gonna do that. But I don't know, I just kind of just started taking the breeding seriously now that I've met people that do the inseminations because I got Cairo specifically to breed with Camila, but they were never interested into each other. So it just never happened and I was never focused on it because I was doing other things. But I met somebody that does Frenchies. He breeds Frenchies and that's how I got into the whole breeding thing. But um, so basically, it's like a super smoothie. It's a, um, so, it's like a super smoothie for your expecting pup. It's packed with vitamins and vital nutrients needed to help her produce strong and healthy pups or kittens. We also included ingredients to help tone her uterus, supporting a smoother birthing process. Warning, this product is intended to intermit or supplement feeding only. Do not exceed double the above specified amount in a 12 hour period. Not for human consumption. Keep out, keep out of reach of children and animals in case of accidental overdose. Contact a health professional immediately. 
Um, it's a dog supplement. So I'm guessing I could possibly put this in her food or in her water. I'm really not sure. It doesn't like really give any instructions on how to scan to join the bark side. It doesn't really give any instructions on how to do that, but I'm pretty sure I could just probably put it in her food. Um, what else? What is this? Oh. So this is for my resin. So when I do resin, resin is basically the coat, the hard coat, hard gloss coat that I put over my paintings to give it that cool ass effect. And I, I'm not gonna lie, my Freddy Krueger painting, I did the resin over it, but it is very blotchy. And I used a brush before, but sometimes the bristles get pulled out from the resin. So obviously I started looking for ways to do it better versus trying to teach myself. So this tool right here is gonna help me Get the resin, coat it on there evenly, and blah, blah, blah. So excited about that. And then I also got me a plastic drop cloth because your girl been making a mess, okay? And I was putting down sheets, not knowing that the resin goes through the sheet and still gets onto the floor. So I got me a plastic cloth to put on the floor when I paint or when I'm doing resin or whatever so I don't make a mess. And I'm also about to move, and I don't want to make my new spot a mess. So this is all the stuff that I got from there. Next is the good stuff. The heavy stuff. So, ooh, girl. So in here, we got my canvas pedestals basically I was doing my resin the other day and I totally forgot the resin is gonna stick to the table girl thankfully I came out in the middle of the night to check on it because by that time the the painting was pretty much stuck to the table I had to pull it off and in the process I broke a little bit of the canvas wood on my painting but thankfully because of the resin was so hard you can't really tell and it held it together but I wanted to figure out a way to you know do my resin with and there being a space between the painting and the table. So that's what these are for. They're like little stools that you put on the corner of your paintings. That way it'll be propped up. And then I bought this little tool right here to mix my resin. I've been stirring my resin with my hands and you know, that's cool, I could do that. But you know what girl, I'm gonna start making content with my paintings and I want everything to look really nice and whenever you are making content content details are everything and so you know the tool wasn't much I got everything for Black Friday so everything was on sale um, so this is the tool that I'll be using to stir my resin that way it'll be properly stirred and yeah it's super cute and I got the one in black I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to put together so we don't need to keep the box and I, pretty, I can just Google it I'm on YouTube it if I need the instructions. Um, and I also want to get into some new type of paint. So I love painting, obviously, but I also want to learn how to do pouring paint. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen, you know, paintings like this right here. Kind of like this, like it's art. It's all mixed and granite and you know it's like, it looks like a granite counter almost and they do the resin and sometimes they put crystals i really i saw this girl's page and she like inspired the hell out of me and she sells her paintings for a good price obviously it's not all about the money but if you like to do it and you can make money you might as well figure out the way to make the most money off of it so i got me some ah it comes with a lot i didn't know it came with this much i'm excited i got me some metallic acrylic pouring paints. I'm so excited to start doing this. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so fucking excited. All right, next, what is this? Alita? Alida? It almost look like Adidas. So this is, I'm not even sure what this is to be completely honest with you. Oh. So this is my resin. 
So I usually get the little resin bottles because, you know, I just have my little paints and I just recently started doing big paint canvases. So I went ahead and got me some big resin. These are the cups that it comes with. It came with some like measuring cups and some wooden sticks to stir, but I'm not gonna need because I got the machine. And then the gallon of resin. And we're gonna have to keep buying resin. And then it also came with some gloves. A little um, thingy, which this could come in handy too. Um, stir, I guess. Some little cups. Some more. Um, I don't need these anyway. And then this is. Oh, it came with some coloring to color the resin. So I won't, I'll, I'll probably do that one day, see how that is with the coloring resin, but not right now. Take one step at a time. Don't bite off more than you can chew. I'm gonna stick to what I know for now. All right, next, I believe this is my um, heat gun. I got a heat gun because I was using my blow dryer, but of course I'm gonna start making content. And not even just that, I don't like the way that resin looks. I want to do all this shit right. Especially if I'm going to start trying to, especially if I'm going to start selling my paintings and making money. I want people to walk away with a very clean painting. So, this is my heat gun. Right here. So it comes with an instruction manual, some little like little tool, I guess, for the resin. I love all this stuff. All this stuff will come in handy. You can never have too much supplies. And I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look. Um, yeah, this is the heat gun. And then I got me some crystals. I thought I got gold crystals too. Hold up. I could have sworn I got gold and. Did I put the. Oh, okay, so I did get some gold crystals. They're just not on the way yet. So I got more stuff. This is just some of the stuff that came. I might have one more Christmas sweater coming. I got some crystals for the new um, craft. For the new, I don't even know what it's called. I'm gonna have to see what kind of painting it's called. But some crystals for the epoxy, because I'm gonna put resin on these, and I got some gold ones. I got some gloves coming. I got some textured paint, because I'm gonna do textured paintings. I have a textured painting like bin like it's a it's a gallon and that got delivered that got delivered this was delivered where's this at okay so hold on. i have some more stuff that was delivered but this is not in here Oh, I just got a package at my door. Got some more paints too. These were on sale for Black Friday. Everything was on sale. I was like, this is the perfect time to, you know, get me some inventory and some supplies. So I got me, I had originally ordered the 50 paints, but then I seen the 72 paints. I think the 51 was like 32 and you get 20 more paints for 35 and it was on sale for like 20 something, 25. I was like, hell yeah, wait, this is 60. I got the 72 though, hold up. Oh, it was 60, but it's a 72 pack. 
oh, 72 pack paint set. So you get 60 colors, but it also comes with, I guess, brushes. So yeah, it comes with little bitty brushes. I like the little brushes, it's cool. You never can go wrong with these um, premium, premium quality brushes. And then I got 60 acrylic paints. Um, all colors, I love it so much. I'm so excited, I needed more paints. I ran out of black and white and like all the basic colors. <clears throat> Oh, pretty I got all my colors restocked and I might even start doing custom paintings yeah. there's that so excited they got all the colors and I got me my own little I'll show you on a sec oh <laughs> like my um paint ink organizer case kit whatever you want to call it so, yeah I'm excited about all this stuff and then Got some Sensodyne. I, put, I, want, I highly suggest you getting your stuff off Amazon because you're going to end up spending $20 on toothpaste anyway. So you might as well spend $19 and get a pack of three of them because I believe it comes, it's like $777. Seven, 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 so it's like four. So you get three of them for the price of what you would get at the store for two. So three Sensodynes, $19.93. And then I got me some olive oil. And some, some lube, but that's none of y'all's business. Um, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, mind your business. Um, and that's all that came in the mail. And I have to use the restroom now. My bladder is about to explode. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a second. So I wanted to show y'all what I'll be putting in all of my painting supplies. And I got this from Vivo Home, I forget what it's called. I'm going to hit them up again and see if I can reactivate this um, this link for Christmas time. But I got this from them like almost a year ago. And so this is what I've been using to store all of my art supplies. I need to get a little bit more organized, but for now, it's, it works for me. So <clears throat> I should have room in this one, I do. Here. So I'm possibly gonna have to eventually get a bigger one. Let me see. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is metallic paints here. I'm probably gonna have to get two of these in order to keep my paint separated. separated like naturally without having like get confused but I'm pretty sure as I start getting you know painting more often I'll notice the difference between metallic the like the because if you if you see it whatever 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 okay so those are my metallics and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw my acrylics in here. They're pretty much the same size. So that's good. I'm so excited about this. Like what do I do? What do you do for a living? I paint. I paint for rich people. That's what I do. Naked. with the spacious stuff. Okay, I think it's full now. Let's see. How many more I can squeeze? Okay, that's full. Nice. 
So me, I only had to figure out the rest of it. <laughs> And this next one. Nothing. Cool. So first off, let me get this one together. I think honestly in the top, I'm gonna have my utensils because I'll need to easily grab those. I think I'm gonna take all these paints out. Dazzles than that though. Hmm. What about other ones though? Tweezers. Ow, you son of a bitch. Ow, that was sharp. I did not know that was gonna be that sharp. That hurt. Damn, gotta be careful. Jeez. Tape right here. Cool. So tape here. Tape in there too. Oh no, put the tape in there. It's a metal bowl and I feel like this just mixes resin so good. So you can make a couple servings of your resin in here. And um, yeah, so I use this for mine. And then I also have this too, cause I used to make soap. So this kind of came with it, but it wasn't working the way I wanted to. It was spreading, but it was just not going evenly the way I wanted it to. So but I'm still gonna use it in my bowl. Too. This will come in handy for spreading. 
resin tools for sure. Which is good. And then I have two empty. These are my pencils over here because I do sketch. That's how I started painting is because obviously I'm a great sketch artist. I guess I'll put my little brushes on this side. Now when my gloves come in the mail, I'll put my gloves right here. Heat gun is gonna go in the next one. Some arts and crafts. I'll put my leaves in here, I guess. The leaves that I have. Some metal studs. Rotate. Paints there. I'm gonna put more paints in this one. Hey honeys, so I'm going to redo the chamoy pickle challenge. The other day we didn't have the fruit roll up and we didn't have enough of the spaghetti sticks. So I made sure to stock up on that so I could do it the right way. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little excited because I just love me some pickles. And I honestly wanted to redo it because I feel like I didn't get the whole experience and I wanted to do it again to make sure that I wasn't tripping. Because if that's what the hype was about, y'all are late. Me and my little sister have been stuffing pickles with Cheetos since we were little. So let me see if it's something I'm missing, girl. I'm gonna open it up, pour the juice out. Damn, she can walk me on. Hmm. Oh. It's your pickle. Uh, uh, I'm looking at 
So I'm going to just put the pillow right there for right now. I'll go ahead and open up everything else. Get my spaghettis open. And these came with it too. They're like apricots or something like that. I don't know, but I'm actually going to put one of these in my pickle. So open up that. And I'm going to put this in here. Oh, no, no, we're not going to put that in there because that's not nasty. Uh, 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 uh. I'm actually going to dump it in there. Hmm. Girl, I don't know. I'm going to put it right here. That way it doesn't fall over because we're going to try to make too much of a mess. Mm. I got the sticks. It smells good. And then your fruit roll up. This is the important part about her. I got the Jolly Rancher fruit roll ups. Go ahead and open it up. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. And I got the mango stuff instead of the other one. I tried that one yesterday. Ooh. Oh, it's a lollipop. Okay, whatever. And then the <clears throat> the little stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. This pickle is so big. Hi, Mm. Mm. I'm gonna scoop out the inside. I should have a spoon right here. Yes, I do. Mm. And it's real easy to scoop out, so. That's the good part. <laughs> like how this comes right out. No, no, no mess, no stress. Just money in my piss. Okay, okay. Get out. All right, there we go. Should I get it all out of there? That's crazy. People are just now doing this. Me and my little sister, you've literally been doing this since we were little. Well, not even me and my little sister. My little sister was doing this when she was little. I should have hit her up and told her to come to the challenge with me. All right. Just like that. Take everything out the middle. Now we're going to stick. So first, ooh, I'm going to throw one of these apricots in there. And then fill it up with some of the juice. Eee. I don't even know where to put it. Okay, I'm gonna dump the juice in here, so I don't gotta do with that no more. All right. This one down. Then get the worms. Oh. <laughs> Like that. It looks like little, little, what? Little, I don't know what it looked like. Stuff that. Ooh, my spoon, no. Uh uh, uh uh. Camila's pregnant, so she's literally trying to eat any and everything, okay? I gotta be careful with her. And just stuff it. Make sure you wash your hands too before you do this. Stuff it in there. Ooh, you grab that one. There we go. I'm gonna stuff in some chips. I should have hot Cheetos, but I never seen these Takis ones before, so I wanted to try these. I'm just stuff them chips up in there, girl. Uh. 
I guess the bigger Takis is better because they're bigger and they don't break as easy because these are kind of breaking a little. But it's okay. We're still going to give them a dinner. Okay, and I'm going to add some more of the worms on the top so I can get that sweet. Just add a couple more chips in there. I'm going to get this and go crazy with it. Just fill it all up. Ah, ooh, that looks kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. Use my mango. Pickle. Let me get my fruit roll up. That looks really, this is gonna taste so good. I'm feeling like. There we go. And wrap it. Some more of this stuff on there. A little bit more sprinkle. Mm. Check that out. It looks kind of like really good. Mm. So that's how it should look. It looks really tasty. <laughs> Definitely a pregnancy treat. Hmm. Let's get into it, girl. Put a little bit more drizzle. Okay. Should I have some more because I don't might need so. I might want to eat more. All right, girl. Let's try it. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, me and my little sister weren't doing this. Definitely. I see what it's about now. The fruit roll up complements the pickle so well. Mm. All right, so that was a lot better than yesterday's. Not gonna lie, I see what the hype is about. Me and my little sister weren't doing this. 
You have to have the fruit roll up. It brings out the pickle for some weird reason. Mm. Mm. It's weird because it's like you don't want to keep eating it, but then you can't stop. But the pickle alone mm. is a regular pickle. It's just red. Wash it down. If you like sweet, and if you like sour, if you like them together, try this challenge. It was really good. I give about an eight on a scale of one to 10 for food and snacks or whatever. I give about a seven or eight because it is really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to bite. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was something new. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.